Hello, this is Glenn Yancey with InSource Solutions. This video is going to focus on your historian reading a different tag count than what you've purchased with your license. Here's the scenario. With your Wonderware historian, you've just installed a license that enables 5,000 tags, also known as a 5K tag license. However, your historian only shows 500 licensed tags. How can this happen? Let's take a look. Here's what I have so far. My Wonderware historian is up and running. When I click on status and look inside the middle pane, it shows that my license tag count is 500. But again, I've installed a 5,000 tag license on this machine. Let me look at that license. I'm going to quickly go to Start, All Programs, Invensys License Manager, and the Orchestra License Manager. And now that I have my License Manager up, I see that there is my 5,000 tag license. So I'm a little perplexed. Now I do see another license that's listed here. That is a Development Studio license. And these three numbers here, I can ascertain. The first one has to do with a Galaxy I.O. count. The next number has to do with a InTouch tag count for development. And the last one has to do with a Historian for a Test Historian. Ah, that's where the 500 is coming from. So in reality, your Development Studio license, depending on the order of install, will take precedence over your Historian license. The development studio licenses can come with a 500 tag, one day retrieval license inside of it. So you have to be very careful with your order of install. Now let's try to remedy the situation. Okay, in my license utility, I can just remove the development studio license. Now why was that on here to begin with? Perhaps I was doing some development in InTouch or the IDE of system platform. Do I need it on here? Probably not. So I'll go ahead and remove it. And I can remove that license without affecting the existing historian license. So now that this machine only contains the historian license, I will then go back to my Wonderware historian server, go back to status, all tasks, and then I will choose refresh license information. So now that's taken care of. Now, how do we prevent this issue from happening in the future? I'm now going to start in the most basic of situations. I've just installed my historian and I have no licenses installed. So as we look at our license status, it's coming up in red with a server OS or tag count violation. I have no license. Therefore, I should get that violation. Now, when we install our license, we need to install the most permanent of licenses on the machine first. So in this situation, I'm going to install the historian license, which typically would have a license file name of orchestra.lic. I added this prefix in here to help differentiate for me, which is the historian license and which is the development license. So now the historian license is on there first. The second thing that I'm going to do is add a development license. Development licenses in many cases are temporary. I'm only using it for adding windows, adding tags. And maybe I don't need to delete it altogether, but if this machine is going to be a machine where the historian and development will always reside, install your historian first. So now I'm going to install my development license. And it's going to ask me, do I want to update or overwrite? Because I have an existing license there, I'd like to update it. If I were to overwrite it, that 5,000 tag goes away altogether. So I choose update, then go back to my historian. And now my historian is showing up with 5,000 tags. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go back to status, all tasks and refresh license information to make sure that it stays at 5,000. 
They're feature lines for the historian in both the development and the historian license. And because of that, they are conflicting. By putting the most permanent license on this machine, being the historian, by doing that first, that tag count will take precedence over the development. Thank you very much for watching.